Hey there guys, so welcome to a quick video. So Microsoft came out with the Microsoft Edge Insider uh, version for Windows 7 and Windows 8 and 8.1. Now, um, as we all know here, Windows 7 is uh, going to be losing support at the beginning of next year. So um, I'm using a black MacBook from 2007 and I'm using uh, Windows 7, uh, I believe Home Premium. Uh, but when you boot it up, it pops up with this message letting you know that you are going to be SOL after uh, January of 2020. But here is a glimmer of hope. So we have the dev channel for Windows 7. Uh, the dev channel is the one that is updated um, weekly. Um, I'm not sure if they have a, let's see if they have a Canary version for that. Oh, they do. Okay. So, um... I haven't seen a beta channel for any of these really. Um, so dev channel and Canary. So let's do Canary. I like the daily updates here. And uh, let's just see how it, how well it works. So when you download, this is your prompt you get, uh, just giving you software license and terms. And then help improve our products by sending info about how to use the browser. Why not? I'm not gonna use this very often. So um, currently I'm using Chrome and Chrome is still supported uh, fully by uh, Windows 7 and uh, still has the um, most up-to-date version. All right, so we get the uh, Microsoft Edge setup EDXE here. Let's go ahead and click and open that. We get our nice UAC. All right, and it is connecting and downloading the build here. Okay, download done and installing. From my experience so far with the Edge Insider version, I've been using it on my Windows 10 machine um, as the dev channel version and it works fantastic. I've had no issues with it. Um, it's based on Chrome, but uh, I like it, it works great. Um, I have used it on my other Mac and it works just as well. Um, so I actually, on my Windows machine, I did make it my default um, web browser and it, it'll stay that way probably for a while. Uh, Chrome is a memory hog. Uh, when you compare the two, it seems that Edge is less so. Um, but you know, as time progresses, we'll see how it works. It is it is very interesting to see how this looks with the Windows Seven arrow <laughs> and a little bit of mix of the new. So I'll go ahead and close out of Chrome here, and let's go ahead and look at Edge here. So when you do open the first, when you open Edge for the first time, it tells you to set it up. So you can have it import your data or you can start from scratch. And so we'll go ahead and start from scratch. I have no data on this, confirm. And then it asks you which kind of view do you want. So whenever you open up a new, a new tab or when you open up the browser, you get, um, you have an inspirational, informational, which will be, um, it'll have some of your favorite links as well as news, um, or you can personalize that feed. And then a focused view, which is basically just gonna be uh, recent tabs or your bookmarks. So I'll go for the inspirational because we all love inspiration, don't we? So here's your inspirational. So let me go ahead and take this full screen and I'll go ahead and show you the version that it's on here. So it looks very similar. Uh, so let's see, help and feedback. And you'll have to excuse my voice. I am not feeling the best. All right, so when we go to about edge here, now one thing you'll notice is when you're doing one of these flags, so as you know in Chrome, you type in Chrome, um, colon slash slash, uh, in edge, it's just edge. So this is the Canary build, and we are on version 77.0.202.0. And because I'm using a 32-bit version of Windows 7 on this, um, it downloaded a 32-bit version of Edge. Um, it, that's another story for another day. This MacBook is actually uh, 
64-bit processor and it runs 64-bit macOS, but it will not let you run a 64-bit version of Windows on it. Who knows why? As I said, story for another day. Uh, now you can enable dark mode on here. Um, you have to go through some hoops um, if you're not on Windows 10 because Windows 7 does not have a dark mode. Um, if you do, uh, if you have it on Windows 10, uh, you just enable that flag, and when you go to change to dark mode, it automatically changes the uh, changes edge to dark mode. Uh, and it's the same with Chrome, except Chrome has that option um, open, I believe. Yeah. So here, um, here it shows you. Uh, we're excited to show you our progress as we as you're getting started. Check out some great ways to get involved. So you can see all new. Uh, you can see the new things that they're doing. Here's some known issues. So it'll no dark mode yet on Windows Seven and Windows Eight, which that's to be expected. Uh, spell check now available. Media casting is now available. Some limitation for web store uh, extensions. So that's been pretty much a common thing, but they have ported quite a few of the extensions over to Edge. Um, so let's see, let's look at our add-ons here. So these are extensions that you get from Microsoft and uh, they're basically gonna be ported over. So you have, you know, you have your common ones, you have 360 internet protect protection, not sure if that's a, antivirus kind of thing, Adblock, Adblock Plus, um, Amazon Assistant, uh, excuse my scrolling here, Avast, Online Security, uh, Bitwarden, Boomerang for Gmail, you've got a bunch of different stuff. Now if you don't see the one you have, uh, or the one that you normally use, you can get it from uh, Chrome, from the Chrome extension store, um, So, but it may or may not work. I have had no issues with it, so, you know, feel free to try it if you download it. Um, let's see here, let's click all here. So this also gives you some information here about, try it, let's see, all right, more. Uh, welcome and thanks for trying the Edge Insider builds on Windows 7 and Windows 8. Excited to bring our work to all supported versions of Windows, and we want your help to make the browsing experience great. So, and then they have a blog post on it. So, uh, so it seems to work pretty well. Um, just wanted to show, uh, I wanted to make this a quick video, but it ended up being an eight minute video. Um, just wanted to show the installation process and uh, some of the features of the browser. Um, you can add home button on your taskbar on your url bar here you have you can add your bookmarks um you can sign in with a microsoft account if you wanted to do that um, and that'll also sync your bookmarks and everything else uh, so very similar to chrome um but microsoft take on it anyway thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video